That's going to be tough. That's Mike, you want to talk about uniforms, DeQuell. Yes. Um, the, the white helmets? To talk, take the take Bengals, away the Nuggets. Well, let me set it up, boy. I got yeah. lots of tag Sorry. boards for you guys. It just comes to us Ooh, by what the boards. internet is saying, and that's always a PCC Airfoil special. Looking for a job with career advancement and great benefits? PCC Airfoils is a leading manufacturer in Northeast Ohio. All locations of PCC Airfoils in East Lake, Mentor, Wycliffe, and Minerva are hiring for positions starting at $18 and up. Plus, get full benefit packages, paid time off, and a signing bonus. Apply online at precast.com slash careers to learn PCC. more. PCC! PCC. I waited for full day. I got you, Bull. Slogans. <laughs> now, here, here's what you got to know. Ziggle, the man. NFL is now allowing teams to have alternate helmets for the first time, which is very you. important because you. yesterday the Bengals, punch it, Steve, announced oh. they're going to wear their white Bengal helmets. Very fresh look. Very, very cool. Uh, got a lot of rave on the internet. Let's that punch that the next one here, crazy. Anthony. That's a close-up of the helmet. Crazy. So, with the help of some very creative like Photoshop that. people, including Move for You Cleveland and Alec Tartar Design, let's take the next one. We have some mock-up Browns white uniforms and white helmet concepts. So, this like is the first one. one. Take a second to look. I like that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next yeah. one, Anthony. I like, that one. I like that one. I like that. This is the brown jersey with the white helmet. I still like them. It's like an Auburn helmet. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. one more. Still I like them. This is a full jersey concept from Ben Axelrod upstairs. Ben! Shout, Shout out, out. DeQuell, okay. you are a Brown. Okay. There's a Brown helmet behind you. Do you yes. like the idea of a possible white alternate, or is it too much? Does it not fit the Browns no, I, model I, logo? What you I, take? Yeah, I love the idea of a, of an all-white alternate helmet. It, it gives a different look. You know, I, I love that. I love the different variations of the of the uniform. I mean, a lot of teams are doing it. That Bengals helmet, by the way, was was tough. Fire. Oh, my goodness. Rip. It was. And it just, it rip, just rip. works. It just all <laughs> blends with the – with the all white helmet and the the, the 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 orange stripe and the brown stripe going through the middle of the helmet, I I, I really I really like that. I would love to wear that. Hey, my man, my look. favorite uniform actually was the all brown uniform. I love, I love, love that. Yeah, but with minus the minus the orange uh, with the yeah. white numbers, not the the orange numbers back in the day. But uh, yeah, I like this idea. Man, you know, Dequel, I, man, we we got it. We got to talk to these folks up in here, man. You know, people in this state are so damn conservative. <laughs> oh, so I, no. I, I, I oh, want my old bro. Hey, hey, listen, get up out hey, of G, here. Hey, can I cut I, you off for one second? Can I cut you off for one second? So when we were wearing the brown, all brown uniforms way back when, I think we we uh, the, whenever I was, I can't remember which year. There was a lot of flag. It it probably lasted. We we heard about it for about three or four weeks from a player standpoint. Hey, we wanted to wear these these uniforms, but we took a bunch of flack from the community. They did not want to change the the original look of the Browns. I'm like, what? Why? Why? Let's change it up. Yes. Yeah, Why not? The original. You know, looks it's sucks. like let's be honest. I mean, you you got to pull off orange and brown, which is difficult to start with. Right. And then you won't right. give me no gray. You won't give me no neutral. And then people talk, well, it's all about these cash crap. It's all about winning on the field. Just give me 10 wins and I'll, I'll wear any jersey. Listen, man, you could walk and chew gum at the same time. Stop telling me to concentrate on one thing. It's a jersey. <laughs> and you don't create them. There's a marketing team. You need to stop wearing them dad jeans and them big bell bottom <laughs> bottoms. Running around with gray t-shirts on and a snapback hat running around talking about I'm getting ready to go to Denny's with my wife. Chalk it up. Where are you going with the wife? Denny's. 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 My, boy, Denny's. my boy has gone off here, but I was oh. going to say this here. I went right. off so much to quote from. Right. Dad jeans is my favorite. G. Bush, that analogy was so good. You are these dad jeans? Jackson. G, am I wearing dad jeans? Uh, yes, those are, those are quite dad. We're going to get you together. We're going to get you Jordans, though, too. I'm wearing dad jeans. <laughs> G. Bush, you kill me, bro. So, so you literally froze the quell. Right? I was, yeah. He froze I will say up this. on that. Because yeah. it, yeah. it was so the, ice cold. The, big, the Bengals look fly. Fire. You know what? I'd like they, to see a Steelers mock up with a white they helmet. Drip. I had drip. Steelers had a yellow helmet they, already. They had, they yeah, had I didn't drip. like that. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a tell you this. That's oh. drip, that drip right there. Now you got to have it, right? The fit yeah. is out, outstanding. It is so, really nice. So I is, hate to admit but it. But you have to know your markets here, right? So this is like Celtic Town. This is like Yankee Town. It, it it stays conservative to this thing here, but I'm not opposed to going to a third alternative Jersey. But you know, if I was going to do that, let this community create it. Do a contest. They'll pick the same uniform. No, no, they won't. You know no. what? I think Bull's right. You know what I think it is, really? It's yeah. the uniform most associated with the glory year. Right. That's when, they, when they came out with the, I call them the sights. 
the orange pants and yeah. the brown. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I automatically think of the 79 yeah. team mm. with Brian and Greg Pruitt, and Mike Pruitt, and Ozzie Newsome, and we yeah. were winning then. So there's automatically a connection that's made between that uniform and victories. No, so, so, so I would like to see. Win, I would like to see some new colors. This is this where I, I agree. New, so, now new so, colors would be a hard so, sell. So when I, when oh, I, big G. Time. Bush and my line. When you yeah. go, when you go the third, uh, and just follow the, just follow the European Soccer League when they've gone to the third, the alternative jersey. Right. The third jersey has to be different than the, the, the consistency that you yeah. have shown right. before. It has to be fresh. It has to be fly. Look when Oregon freaked out those the, the neon green. Right. They Everybody, change uniforms every game. Like we're freaking you out here, but but even and I'll go to your Buckeyes to this credit. Oh, yeah. Ohio we, State. We even we do oh, it sometimes. Yeah. They, they were the traditional the tradition. You know what they got on board and said, you know what? We're gonna pay homage to the old throwbacks, but we're gonna throw our I think Terrell Pryor's it. years they started doing yeah, that, didn't it, they? It, new helmets, the reds and the black oh, the, the blacks. blacks. So, yeah. So, uh, awesome. so, the, so the Buckeye, the Buckeye, when they go to the alternative jersey, like they've got the, the all red helmet. I've got that in my own basement, right? It is nice. That's the only one I will keep there because I like and with the little Buckeye oh, leaves man, on it, it's freaked out. You can't find it anywhere, yeah, right? Yeah. And so I think there's a market, not only a market, hell, be honest, we got to sell some stuff here. Well, we that's what it's about. Here, oh, right? absolutely. 100%. <laughs> when, when, when there were there was a marketing study that was done with uniforms. Black was the, the color that fans preferred most. Yeah. So if there were teams that did not have black in their scheme, right. they yeah. put it in there specifically so they could sell black shirts and hats. Yep. Not, Non-Browns fans are not buying Browns gear because it's not, you know, I don't care about this type of stuff, but it's not cool. Well, if people it's, don't love it, I don't know if it's if it's Jarvis Landry or Odell Beckham when Odell came here, his jersey sales went and, through the roof. And here's this because it was a new true. look for, yeah. for for that player. And even talk talk about this. This is this just goes to show you the temperament of this climate and where we at. Odell Beckham was wearing different cleats. And people made that a talking point. They went on radio and was like, ah, he has those clown shoes on <laughs> and Jarvis has, look at his cleats in that visor. And you're like, bro, like, I'm sorry, man. If you go going to market always, you look, you got to be fashion forward. Yeah. Market well, to the belief, people who you want. There the is young uniform kids. police though. Yeah. And I think what people were that talking was a big about. Story. Yeah, but it wasn't that they were different. It was that he was, he was getting singled out and becoming a story because he was violating what the uniform police. It was an unnecessary it, distraction. It was. People it getting worked one. up about those things individually. But, 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 but G. Stupid, Bush, but. I think anyway. fans love that. When baseball finally said players can wear, and football too, yeah. you can wear these cleats that right. have for a cause. That's, yeah. that's the a The baseball jerseys point. with the nicknames, people Absolutely. like that. I, I people will, love I, it. I will say this, though. When, the, when Hear me now. When the mm. Browns end up going to the Super Bowl, I will be in brown and orange. That's where I'm going. I'm not going in third color. Going in, I'm, I'm go, brown what, and orange. What do you want, G? What, what color? What kind? What do you? Would you like the Browns uniform? For, first if you all, could design new Browns uniforms, what would you do? I, I like. Get, I like Brad's hypothetical. He, he, when they play in the Super Bowl, what do you want to see them wear? Brown and orange. Okay. The, but here's here's the, here's the two things that they listen to me, marketing team. Here's two things that you can do. Uh, to make your brand blow up and work with something. I know you like the blank helmet, right? But the elf is not utilized. Put, get the elf together, put the elf in the middle of the field, and give me the elf on a helmet at some time, point in time, if you want to do alternates, too. He's giving you a scary look right now. I here. don't want no elf on my helmet. <laughs> right? I just don't, uh, by, the, by the way, it's the top. Because I ain't scared of no elf. <laughs> it's, the top, it's, the top selling, it's the top selling logo of all Browns merchandise. It's What's proven. the only logo they have? Well, and it <laughs> looks weird. So it has to be the top selling. Gun metal gray. Put gray in your uniform. You can't get black off because that's the Cincinnati Bengals and you already lost Paul Brown. You can make up for that by having a third alternate and having it be gunmetal titanium gray. You can mix that in. Is that a Sherwin-Williams color? You know, know what they should do, too? Yeah, very, you know what very I like? specific. <laughs> do you have the I've, yeah, I, I, Listen, <laughs> you see, this is gunmetal gray. You see you that? Know, so, yeah, you, you know what that? they should do for the helmets? Get that mat like the Vikings have. I, I, I love those. those. I, I love, love those. Love they look them. so yeah. cool. Love, or if you want to uh, come with the chrome helmets, give me matte or chrome. You know what you do? If you don't want to change the uniform, just tell them. If you hey, go, if you go, let's chrome out the you orange. You go chrome here, they're going to freak out. So. Yeah, that's a little dry. I think that might be a little <laughs> 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 Well, back. He finally defrosted from that icy <laughs> Right, icy <laughs> tape, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so you got back. the floor, dog. Yeah. See what happens when you go 50 to 44 on side? See what happens to you? That was karma. That was karma. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, oh, please bring that sign when you come to town, Nicole. Boy, I may put it on a shirt. <laughs> we need to get Chris Carter and and Keith Byers and all the boys to sign that card. Yeah, and that then you can amazing. frame it and hang it in your office. Like right here. That would be amazing. <laughs> let, let me let me ask you this. Hey, Brad, can you guys still hoop? Do you guys still hoop at all? Or is, or is nah, it just we don't do nothing. No, we just talk a good okay. game now. Nah, we ain't doing that. <laughs> we ain't doing that. Look, the, the, I like my body parts to work. I got to go to work in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Although we are going to have a football versus basketball clash when you and McNuggets hit the court. Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, we can't, can't do that. it because the week the Quell's coming to town, I'm out of town, so we can't do it that week because I'm setting it up. And so it's his next it. visit. To so Cleveland, it'll, right? it'll be his next visit okay. after that. Right. I'm not going to, listen, I'm work. not running to Quell. This is nothing to do with me. I'm ready. Sure. Yeah, I'm going to be on vacay that week. Okay. Quill, take me to this third, that third uniform, man. What you yeah. going to do? What would you want a third? If you had a third uniform, you've been around a lot of players. What's one mm -hmm. of the wish list items that you've always wanted as a player that they was just like, we're not, you're not getting that off? Man, you you know, right before I, I, I joined on, I heard you say that metallic helmet. Or the, no, no, I heard Bull say that that matte, uh, like matte. matte color. Yeah. Man, if we if you could somehow incorporate that matte color in that helmet, I think that would be that would be surefire. Yeah, hit, that would be awesome. Opinion. But you know, we we all you know, players always like to wear I, I think the darker colors, all solid dark colors. Yep. From jersey to uh bottoms and black cleats. It just it just it just I don't know. It just did something to you. You always paid attention to Pittsburgh, for instance, when they would come in or we would go to them and they wore that all black. It just, I just, it just hit differently, you know, from a player standpoint. But I, I don't know. When I got to Indy, man, the all white uniforms, they looked too just, Vanilla. I'm here to play around. It, it didn't give me what I wanted. But yeah, those yeah. all brown yeah. uniforms from the Browns, oh, I, I, that was my all time favorite. And this helmet. The helmet with the uh, yep. with the number on the side of it. That was yeah, cool. That was nice. I like that yeah. look. McNuggets? Yeah, well, we've been talking about fashion, talking about uniforms. I don't think any of us can speak on fashion as well as our next guest joining us on the Gridiron Guys hotline, Aditi. There he hey. also yeah. came yeah. back from vacation. <laughs> and Dequel was on vacation. Thanks for the invite from both you guys. I appreciate it. But they both are back from vacation. And now let's talk a little white wait, uniforms. Wait, but Aditi, I got a great fan? story. Wait, wait, McNuggets, I've got a great story. So I'm standing online. I took the, we went, not I, we, my husband and I took the kids to Hershey Park and okay. Chocolate Town. Yep. And then we went to this little place called Dutch Wonderland in Lancaster, PA. So okay. I'm online at a little ride in Dutch Wonderland. And remember the last time I was on with Dequel, he was talking about this fancy trip to Nemecolin and how awesome it would be and et cetera, et cetera. So I'm online for this ride and there's this guy there and he's like, hey, are you the girl that talks about the Steelers all the time? Are you the Steelers reporter? So blah, blah, blah. We get into conversation and he says that he's originally from outside Pittsburgh and he goes, I'm really near Nemecolin. So I say, oh yeah, I've never been there. You know, I don't have a husband who takes me there. And you know what the guy says? Rich people go there. That when you have oh, a I can't wait to see Dequel and tell him. Our own version of Brady. Hey, you, you know, when I was there, this is when I really knew I was in the right place, right? So I'm uh, the first <laughs> night we're at dinner with the kiddos and we're having a good time. And across from us is this family, nice looking family. And there's a guy with a massive head, right? Oh. And I'm like, I know he must be an actor or something. And I couldn't figure it out. So it's driving me crazy. The next morning, we're picking up the kids from Kids Club. And lo and behold, I was so embarrassed. It was Alan Fanica. Oh. I didn't. I did not oh, recognize wow. him because he had lost so much weight. And at that moment, I told my wife for years when we first started dating, he was my welcome. He gave me my welcome to the NFL moment. So I actually brought it up in front of his wife and kids, and we just that entire weekend we hung out, exchanged contacts. So. I knew I was in the right place anytime a Hall of Fame was there. So uh, we had a great time. And uh, it, it was a great, oh man, I, I did the clay shooting and. Oh, oh my God! I can't wait to go. Yeah, back. it's a but lovey place. It's a real lovey place. And clay and, and, shooting. And, yeah, clay shooting. How hoity toity is that? He, he went to the yeah, polo yeah. match. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a quell Mel Blunt Mel Blunt's charity outing, which he uh, wants me to help with in August, has both uh, golfing and clay shooting. You want me to tell him that you want to come? Clay you want to oh, absolutely! Mel Blunt? I would love Another to. Another Hall of Famer. <laughs> 
I would love to. I don't know if I'll be welcome, but I'm not a Hall of Famer, but I, I, I'm, I'm in for the experience. I will send a message. I know some people. I don't know people to get me into Nemecolon, but maybe I could that's get you into Melbourne. That's for rich people, I think that's, that's, that's only for rich people. Duquel's going to have to start breeding show that's dogs right. now, too. Hey, McNuggets, oh, McNuggets <laughs> tried to get some video or, or photographic evidence that Duquel was hanging out with, uh, with all of these upper crust people. But what, no, did, you, did you come through? No, Dequel put it on his Instagram story, so you can't save yeah. it. He was smart. If he had posted it, there was videos of him play shooting. There was videos. You know, of I had going. a feeling you were up to something. I had a <laughs> I'm just trying to make good content for the people, and if you're gonna put it out there, Dequel, we're gonna show it. But well, I have more videos. I, I got some videos I can. Next see time you, you come out, even, the, even my wife did the clay shooting, and I was so ner I was highly nervous. I'm like, listen, point the gun <laughs> away from. <laughs> Your face and away from everything else. So she did oh, yeah. See, right there. She'll never go back. Like you had a pretty she, good shot to quell. Uh, that, that's not a joke. I, well, I only posted the shots that I hit. So, yeah. you know, yeah. to be fair. The quell was, like was like this. Pull. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? I think I saw you the other day. What you didn't know is I work at Nimicolin part time <laughs> on the weekends. <laughs> I'm the help. The like, I get the lawn and stuff together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. I'm, you you right. could have been in the riding the skag. It's all good. I love it. I love it. Nemecolon is a fun place, and I do think we should all take a road trip there. Wait, Jay, you've been. You've been? I have been, and I it see. is awesome. Thank you. I didn't want to be. Oh, I didn't want to be. There we go. Not a few times. Jay had to throw me off the property. He about to throw me off the property. He about to throw the bus. No boats. Look, who else been there? Who else been there? Who else been there? I got to give him the Warren Sapp face. Give it to me. Let me see it. Stevie, Stevie, you got to give me a tight shot of G. Bush right now. The Warren Sapp. <laughs> Give me the eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bad boy Jay. Bad boy Jay. <laughs> oh, my God. I was hoping I, I was going to do that. That is so good. <laughs> these dudes, these rich people in here telling me about Nemecola. I don't know. No, listen. I don't know how to spell Nemecola. <laughs> listen, I had a day pass. I had a day pass. Right. And they had to admit. Well, it's a day pass now, right? They had to carry right? right. off the property. The quail, now he's got a day pass. Now he's got a day pass. Okay. All right. So he had a day pass that he could pay for. Get back to the story. Get back to the talk. Talk about Steelers and Brown. I'm gonna sit over here and just imagine what them look like. I want to hear more about the new friendship between Fanica and Dequan. Oh, listen. So he actually put me on. The guy was so graceful. So all the kiddos were in the pool one day, and we just had a conversation about just life, and it was good to just catch up and talk to Hall of Famer. He didn't look anything like himself. But one thing you cannot hide is that big, massive head of his. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know. Wait, Dequel, I have a question cool. about that. So, Dequel, he obviously, just like you said, he looks so different. He doesn't have the long hair. He doesn't have all, you know, the jowls and everything. His Hall of Fame bust, mm -hmm. by the time he got in, he looked like he looks now. But he chose to have that bust look like what he looked like when he was that big, oh, yeah. disheveled dude. Is that oh, yeah. what oh, you yeah. would have picked? Oh, yeah, no him, doubt. Is no. That really? Yes, I would have definitely gone with the heavier set, better. Yeah, I, I would have definitely gone. Because no one would recognize him. But doesn't I'm he look you. so much better now? Oh, he does. I, mean, I, he I was like, so dude, what? I'm like, what's your plan? I need to lose 10 pounds. I'm like, what's your plan? And he just went on this tantrum. I'm like, well, I can't stop drinking socially so that's out of the question so uh the next conversation yeah. you know? uh, that's not gonna happen that's fantastic i think that should be a great reality show fanica and dequel hang out it would be he actually put me on another place it's very rich it's probably rich oh. rich enough for you jay it's a blackberry farm oh. so, and if you get so if you get a day pass that means you probably went for free and it's very expensive G, so G. Bush also works there with. part time too. Oh, oh yeah, I work there. Yeah. Listen, hey, you know, no, they can't find workers. There's a shortage. They're giving me fifty dollars an hour up there. <laughs> <laughs> I make six figures working at Nimicola. <laughs> Free benefits and everything. I seen the DD up there. Say, hey girl, what's up with DD? <laughs> There's oh, yeah, the bus. There's oh, the yeah. bus. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you know what? That's a good look for Allen. I mean, that, you're right, because mm -hmm. Dequel, if he goes in with what he looks like now, people won't recognize him. It's like the Baker Mayfield statue at Oklahoma. Doesn't look anything at all like Baker Mayfield. Right. Because right. well, they, oh, they yeah. were really honoring someone else. They had to pretend it was Baker. <laughs> Any little boy. Hey, Didi, do you like the white Bengals uniforms? Have you seen the mock-ups? What do you think? 
I, you know what? I haven't because, well, we like I said, I'm riding roller coasters. Uniforms, guys. They fire. They crazy. Well, hold on. They're going to put them up right now. I agree with Dequella. I love the Steelers all black. I mean, I mm -hmm. that might be the best uniform. Yeah. Woo! There you go. There's the Bengals, white ones. What do you That's think? Solid. I mean, it's hard to argue with Jamar Chase in anything, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, they're, they're nice. They're, I just don't really love all white. There's something about the white mm. that just doesn't seem as tough. I do Watch like this. the helmet because it's a little different. Different. Yeah. But it kind of looks like Hey, Jay, do you mind if I ask Adidi a question? No, of course. The white go. Tiger. Adidi, do you, do you have any idea what this means? 